the businessman Ellen Sugar has said women can narrow the gender pay gap by insisting they want to be paid more. The boss of the reality TV show The Apprentice said, however, that it was disgraceful the BBC was forced to publish the earnings of its top talent earlier this year. The corporation has been under pressure after its annual review revealed top TV presenters were paid more than £150,000 a year, and that four-thirds of those stars were male. On the day that the 13th series of The Apprentice begins, the 70-year-old entrepreneur said pay was a private issue. I don't think transparency over pay is the correct thing. It's a private issue and I think it's disgraceful, actually, that the BBC were forced to publish what people were earning, Lord Sugar said. I don't believe that people should publish what people are earning to start the debate that Charlie earns this, and Celia only gets that, but she does the same job. I don't think that was right. When asked if he sees the pay gap narrowing in future, Sugar said it can be narrowed by the lady herself saying, no, I want more money. Right, you want me to do that, I want more money. Her agent should come along and say, hold on, I know how much Charlie's being paid and I want more for my lady to do it. If the BBC or ITV or Channel 4 or Channel 5 say nah, not really, then, tough. She'll have to decide what she wants to be paid. Karen Brady and Claude Lidner will join Sugar in his search for a new business partner as The Apprentice returns with a batch of 18 new contestants. Discussing the appeal of the show, Sugar said there's an underlying business message in there which has really inspired youngsters from the age of 13 upwards. I mean, if I had to visit every school that does a kind of apprentice process, you know, among students, there wouldn't be enough hours in the day or in the year to do it, so it has driven that throughout the whole of the country. The Apprentice begins on BBC One at 9pm on the 4th of October.